when we get something definitive on an effective vaccine, fingers crossed that we do, how will tech respond? Will we see a sort of K-shaped response from the tech sector? Some stocks that have been beaten up during the pandemic bouncing back, but others that had done so well during the pandemic retreating just a little to, to make way perhaps for cyclicals. Yes, I do think that um, you know, if there's certainty about uh, the way out of this pandemic, then there's also room for stocks that have been beaten very badly um, to recover um, and to recover on a faster track than you know the evolution that you might see in tech stocks. Because obviously, you know, like tech stocks, especially like the um, the really big ones, you know, the Fang stocks um, in the U.S., but also you know the big tech stocks in other markets such as emerging markets, they have profited a lot. So they they basically they've been the ones you know who were supposed to take advantage of um lockdown and then again you know when when markets rebounded you could first see that they were lagging behind but then you know um what what happened was actually that retail investors then suddenly they said oh well you know markets dipped and dipped and now it's the time for me to buy google to buy apple and so, on. so I, I do think that um you know tech stocks they they will continue on on a relative positive um uh, note, but uh, but I also think that in the moment where it's clear that you know we have a vaccine, um, other sectors they're likely to um, to to uh, you know take more advantage of this and take more advantage of the economic hopes that are also linked to this. So um, a lot of fantasies already in those tech stocks prices, um, and uh, probably other sectors they are beaten a little bit too much. Uh, you know, uh, people have suggested that maybe. Um, price earnings isn't the right way to look at uh, valuations right now. Do you have a better measure? Do you do you agree or disagree? Well, um, you know, we personally um, um, at um, you know at Tobam, we we don't look at valuations, so we are more interested in looking at markets in terms of um, risk concentration. Um, so basically, if you look at markets today, then what you can notice is, is that we are at an extreme level of market concentration, and you can see this all across the board. Obviously, it's most pronounced for U.S. markets, for emerging markets, and um, and in fact, what I find very frightening about you know what we have at the moment in terms of risk concentration is, is that it's on the one hand side it's a um, high sector concentration, but on the other hand it's also high idiosyncratic uh, concentration because you have very few very big stocks. And um, and so from an asset allocator point of view, it's something that you know I personally I would find very very um, concerning, and um, and this goes beyond you know pure let's say valuation perspectives, and um, and that's something that um, that I think is something that investors today um, perceive more and more, and um, and they start to think about you know how to correct in their portfolio, and how to reallocate um, at least to some extent their assets.